Electronic umpiring, that is my discussion today. Electronic umpiring has been an issue that has been discussed in Major League Baseball and all other uh, levels of baseball for a long time now. Um, umpires are human. Humans, inevitably, no matter what, are not perfect. They make mistakes. In baseball, you you rely on perfection of certain aspects of the game. You need to have the perfect swing on the perfect pitch at the perfect time. MLB hitters have less than half of a second sometimes, depending on how fast the pitch is, to react to react and swing at the pitch. MLB pitchers uh, have to throw into a strike zone no bigger than from your elbow to your knees and about as wide as the plate, which I forgot the exact dimensions of, but it's a very small window, and you have to throw it hard enough in which the hitters won't recognize it and won't be able to hit it. So both parties, the defensive and the offensive party in baseball, rely on precision. You want to throw it exactly where you want, and the hitter wants to know, hit it exactly perfectly in the perfect spot on the barrel to make it travel the farthest, straightest, to knock it out, basically. <laughs> So in so in in the debate for electronic umpiring uh the claim is that if you have electronic umpires no mistakes will ever be made and I am not for electronic umpiring for a couple different reasons my reasons being umpires have been a part of the game for ever since it's created it's one of the oldest US sports if not the oldest US sport uh that's been like professionally televised and that and that kind of stuff but it is it's a very very new it's a very very old sport with very old traditions in it one of the oldest traditions being MLB umpires um just the the conversations the interactions that you have with umpires uh really really helps the game really improves really improves it makes the game really it makes the game the controversy with umpires and players you know uh one of my favorite things to watch is like a player get ejected or something because an umpire makes a mistake or a player thinks that a call should be one way and an umpire thinks a call should be another way it's kind of like that interaction and baseball is really i mean all sports have it especially with like referees in basketball and nf and uh the nba and nfl there's also controversies with that but you can't have electronic umpires or referees for that sport specifically unfortunately but in baseball you can so basically the gist is they want to make they want to have a baseball electronic umpire i don't necessarily know how it works but basically it would make it so there's never any errors in the strike zone and that's the most controversial issue for umpiring is the strike zone if you paint an outside corner it is very hard for an umpire to tell if that pitch is a strike or not what is deemed a strike is if the ball crosses over the plate and and is over the plate like any part of the ball has to be touching or over the plate within the required height if you just get a tiny bit on that plate it is very hard to tell if that is a strike or not so a lot of borderline calls make a lot of people upset so if there was electronic umpiring there would be no borderline calls it would always be correct but it just it kind of just takes the fun out of the game honestly i just don't i just it just takes the fun out of the game i just think that um with without with electronic umpires you don't get that camaraderie you don't get those discussions you don't get that uh exhilarating that exhilarating watching experience that it gives when an umpire when a coach or player disagrees with an umpire you know it allows you to talk about the game it's interesting to watch and i just think that it shouldn't be a thing peace